In this tutorial, we will write a Java program to calculate the power of a number. We are calculating power of a number. We need to know the base and exponent. We take that from user. We say enter base and we store it into our variable base equals to reader dot next int and then we give a message to enter uh, exponent exponent tree basically and then I store it into exponent variable reader dot next int okay so now since I have my base and uh, exponent as well I need to create a variable in which I will um, store my power so I create a long data type because power can be some big number which cannot be stored in integer as well so I anyway create a long data type so this is my result which will be the uh, power of a number and I started with uh, uh, 1 started with 1 because we'll be multiplying it uh, with some number so we go on until our exponent is not equals to uh, 0 so the logic is that uh, if let's say our base is equals to 3 and uh, and uh, exponent equals to 4 this means we need to multiply by 3 3 4 times so this will go on 3 multiply by 3 multiply by 3 multiply by 3 so we need to multiply by uh, multiply 3 by 4 times so what we will do is if exponent is 4 we will uh, go on from uh, exponent 4 and we will be decreasing uh, it by 1 until exponent becomes 0 and in every iteration we will multiply it by our base and store it into the result so we what we say is result equal to result multiply by base and we decrease exponent by 1 okay so this will do our job and finally we say that the power of um, power of base base or just I can say that uh, the result is and the result is our result okay okay so let's calculate let's run the program and see uh oh I missed a semicolon over here I run the program again and we see our base is let's say 3 and exponent is 4 and the result is 81 which is correct because 3 multiplied by 3 9 9 multiplied by 3 27 27 multiplied by 3 81 okay let's run it again and give 5 power 3 so I give 5 as base and 3 as exponent and I have 125 which is correct so what is happening is we are taking base and exponent from the user we have declared a long data type of result variable started with 1 and then we are we have started while loop and it goes on until our exponent is not equal to 0 every time we multiply our result by base and we deduct 1 from the exponent so this is basically equals to this is equals to exponent equals to exponent minus 1 so this just uh, uh, deducts 1 from the exponent okay 1 from the exponent and exponent will be uh, let's say our numbers are 3 and 4 so result is 1 1 multiplied by 3 result as 3 exponent is 4 minus 1 3 3 is not equals to 0 2 result at 3 3 multiplied by 3 9 exponent will become 2 it is not equal to 0 then 9 multiplied by 3 27 exponent is 1 1 is not equals to 0 27 multiplied by 3 81 minus minus exponent is 0 0 is not equals to 0 condition is false loop will break and 81 will be printed so this is the logic I hope it helps and there are some other ways of doing the same as well so I will comment uh, this piece of code so I'll comment from here from here up to here okay and this time we will use a built-in math function so I'll import Java dot length dot math library and we will use uh, let's say long uh, a result equals to 
um, math dot power function p o w and this will take base and integer. So base and our uh, power is exponent. So this will uh, it, this is a built-in function which will calculate the power itself and it will return the result into a return variable and finally we are printing it. So let's run it and see if this gives us the same uh, result. Oh, oh, incompatible types. So there is a type issue. The issue is that math.power returns us a double data type and we are storing it into a, a long data type. So either we can convert it from double to long or we can change our data type to double so that double is stored into the double variable okay so let's run it again and uh, program compiled and i will enter the base 3 and power 4 and there you go the result is 81 so there are two ways either you can uh, view this way or you can do this way if you are at learning phase try to uh, um, go with the logic and implement the program yourself but if you are working as a developer and then you don't need to uh, write the long code you can just use the math library and its built-in function which is one line of code so that's it with this tutorial and i'll see you in the next tutorial